Hold on. Awesome. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Beer Explaining uh, number, I want to say 20. But uh, one I day. it was like 27. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I lost quarantine track. 20, 22, 26. I don't yeah. know. I think it's 20 ish. Somewhere in that range. Whatever. Today's our first show, the guest star. This hey. is our guest star. Hey, actually, Nathan. Guest star. Hello, Nathan. Hi. <laughs> He's here to help us taste our pilsners, right? Oh, you can see. we're supposed to introduce ourselves. I'm yes. Corey, uh, also known as Hoppy Hippo on Instagram. And I am Shane, also known as Beer Snob Esquire on Instagram. And Nathan. You don't have I'm Shane on Instagram. I'm Nathan. Hi. He's new. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, go ahead and, uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. Uh, check out our YouTube channel if you get a chance. Uh, check out our website, beerexplaining.com. It's got the link to the YouTube videos. Give us a like. Uh, you know, give us a share. Maybe we'll get to that 1,000 viewers and we can go live on YouTube. Someday. Like and another 985 or something. And if you've got suggestions for beers, breweries, or shows, send them on over through the website. We beer trade as well. That's a we do beer trade. Yeah. All right, so uh, today's show is going to be a special show for two reasons. One, we have a guest star, uh, Nate, and uh, for number two, we have uh, Pilsners, uh, which is special because uh, the truth is that Shane and I are almost never going to order Pilsners so far. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Although we did, we did I yesterday. I did yesterday. No, we did yesterday. I did after almost never. Biking in 105 degrees for about two hours, I thought a Pilsner would be better than a hazy IPA. And it was pretty good. It was pretty good. He's lying. He doesn't like his Pilsner. I didn't like my first. He wished he got an IPA. I did, actually. It, I, said, I said it tasted like Coors. That was what I said. Uh, it was which, and Coors the fits is um, okay. kind of a statement of the fact that the Coors makes a pretty okay strange yeah. Pilsner. Yeah. I mean, Yes. If our comparison for Coors' uh, offering is basically the same as, or similar enough to Billboard's Pilsner, I guess either someone's doing something right or someone's doing something wrong. Or, yeah, or both. Or both. Or both, yeah. All right, so uh, for Pilsner's today, uh, Shane's just going to give us a quick breakdown on what to expect from Pilsner tasting. Uh, try to get a little beer splaining in there. He's going to splain. Splain the beer. going to splain you some Pilsner's. So... Pilsner is a German style beer which is top fermented. Usually it's fermented at a colder temperature and for a longer period of time. You know, your typical brew is gonna ferment three, four, five days at a big brewery, you know, a week or two maximum at home. The Pilsners, the lagers, your German styles are gonna go more than two weeks in a major brewery and usually up to four weeks at home. Is so, a Pilsner as is a Pilsner a lager though? A Pilsner is Pilsner. top fermented. Okay. It is they call it a pale lager. That's what a Pilsner truly is, is a pale lager, and um, has existed for centuries. Apparently, the very first Pilsner ever was Pilsner or Quell, which you can still get. So, which is pretty good. It is a pretty good Pilsner. You know, there are actually, if you get the German-style Pilsners, you, you're getting usually a pretty good, consistent beer. You're not getting a lot of adjuncts. You're not getting any rice. You're not getting any corn. You're getting just grains and hops. So, There's a few people asking oh, questions. Yeah. And, we lost our sense of taste. Yes, we did. We did, Brett, lose our sense of taste. So, yes, Brett is here. Brett. Hello, Brett. We're in a bubble. We're in a bubble. See, see the bubble? Bubble. Plus, we're in fantasy land today. Right. So, the princess castle has a bubble cast upon us. That's right. It is. So, uh, that's pretty much it for Pilsners. Like I said, you should get a, a crisp taste. Not a whole lot of bitterness at all. Not a whole lot of hop aroma. The IBUs are going to be in the teens, maybe the 20-ish range, if that. So the hoppy pilsners are a thing, and there might be a hoppy pilsner in the stack. It could be. So it might not just be pure. These aren't necessarily pure German. Which we'll pilsners. probably find out because I don't think Nathan offers the hoppy beans. Yeah, so it's we'll very likely <laughs> these. Uh, hopefully these have a little something, a little something extra to offer. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully most more than likely everyone's at least had pilsner before. Sometimes you get one of these IPAs, and someone's watching you drink this like blackberry, boysenberry, dragon fruit, hazy IPA that's got lactose, and they're just like. What is that? I'm never going to drink that. That even looked like a beer. Like everyone's probably had a Pilsner. They've had a Coors. They've right. had maybe a Stella. I think Stella has a Pilsner. Stella has one. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a Pilsner. Uh, there's a few others. There are a lot of them. That, that are pretty much just Pilsner. So it's a good chance that everyone else can sort of relate. So. That's true. With that said, uh, why don't we just move right into taste? Do you have anything you want to say? No, I have? mean, uh, I, I like the MGD, surprisingly. So. I think that's actually a lager. It's, it is a lager. It's a lager. <laughs> so it's, it's, so that's fine. It should be okay. Be but it's a lager. I would say it's a lager. I think it'll be fine. Don't, don't judge me. <laughs> Your wife says you need to take a Pepsi. <laughs> what she oh, said. It's not that much beer. It's very good. It's very good. I, I think, and I don't know if you see the food. We should introduce the food oh, the today. Food. The homemade bagel dogs and pretzel buns with chips and homemade roasted salsa. 
They're bagel dogs. They're pretzel, pretzel, pretzel dogs. dogs. Sorry, pretzel. Don't offend the chef. <laughs> pretzel dogs. <laughs> it's not amazing cheese sauce. What are the differences between our bagels and our pretzel? That would be how it's prepared. I think it's probably yeast. Actually, and the type of dough. Prepared dough. about the same. Well. You boil bagels, don't you? You do. You boil pretzels. Oh, you do? See? Yeah. Interesting. Now it's apparently My gluten freeness <laughs> doesn't allow me to know these <laughs> Literally, things. I don't know the difference. I don't, Please be explain this. Uh, <laughs> my guess is the ingredients. It is. It yeah. probably is, yeah. Well, these are good. I know that. The sauce is the shit, man. My I agree. Salsa and the sauce. cheese sauce are all really good. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm gluten free friend. I almost got to endorse some cheese sauce, so I dipped my pretzel in it. Not a euphemism. And some people. And uh, <laughs> now she can't. <laughs> Not a euphemism. <laughs> Solid. Solid. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Totally good. All right, let's do appearance. Let's do appearance. Right. Uh, they all look really good. Uh, two of them are two of them are sticking out to me. I feel like number one and number six stick out in the look. I like number one. I agree with you. Number one, actually, number five is troubling to me a little bit. It looks actually more like a oh, side. It is super light. Light. That's true. Right? These three look the same. They, but I still think five is a little bit lighter. Six and seven are also. I like. I think four is, it is supposed to be darker. I it's it's honestly again, this is light. probably the perfect color for a poster. It's a, here. I agree. I think these I two, these. two and three, are probably yeah. closer in the right place. This one's two, probably two, too cloudy. Is your guys' yeah. number six not look cloudy? Is it just really really angry? No, mine's. I think pink. it's, it's the, the glass because yeah. it's the condensation and probably the pink paper because theirs is taller and yours is. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. It's 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 so I'm gonna basically say I think two and three are gonna get two and three are gonna get nines as far as the color go. The appearance. And I'm going to give one and I'm going to pick it up. I want to pick it up. Look at it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just like some of them change in color. Like, oh, yeah. I think it must be the glass because I yours think. looks completely different than theirs. Yeah. Wait, you've got, you've got six, five? No, six. I have six in my hand. I drink some of that or something before you spill it everywhere and be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help it. I have shaky hands. I was trying to help you. I was like, drink yeah, some. Yeah, but, you know, we're going to do this the right way here. Um, I'm going to give. I mean, I don't. I feel like maybe six, maybe five looks the worst. It's I, mean, I think six looks the worst. Can we get up the camera and we'll go off screen here for a second? No, actually five. You're up right. five. It's five. I'm going to give you this seven and the others an eight. Because they're all pretty consistent in color. Like two, three, and four look basically the same to me. Five and seven look pretty similar. I feel like one and six are very, very different like from the others. I agree. One is darker. And, and No, I think five is lighter than six. See, I, I'm just not used to this darker color, so right, right. I, I'm actually going opposite. And you should, yes. Yeah. I'm going with like a seven on the number one, and then uh, probably number five is looking a little light. It's a little light. It really does look super light, honestly. In my view, this one just looks like this cloudy, hazy thing. I think it's the glass. It might be, because I have snifters, and you guys have um, not snifters, so... I mean, Shane's even looks different than Nate's. Yep. Turns out it's hard to get 21 of the same glass, guys. <laughs> it does. I know, uh, but I do like some of it's harvest shades. lights and shading and stuff like that when they're this light of here, you know, they're not super cloudy. I think these three, I'm going to go eight on all of them. Mine's purtier than all of you guys. <laughs> and then smell, which there shouldn't be a big aroma on those ones. There shouldn't be a whole lot. Seven on five. Right, so. I think I'm going to go seven on seven as well. I'm just not a huge fan of the way it Hmm. I'm not sure about one. I think. Hmm. Oh, I like the smell of number one. Actually. I gotta go with eight. I didn't actually get any smell at all on number seven, but I agree. Number one has a pretty good aroma to it. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind. <clears throat> Alright, so for taste of appearance, I get all eights and sevens. See, just to recap everyone's. I don't, I'm not getting any smell out of any of them except for one so far. That's yeah, not that that's, uncommon. And that's probably, I'm gonna go sevens unless I smell something, because you're not really supposed to get a huge aroma out of it. We have some coffee beans if you want to try to do like that for a <clears throat> Your beer is really pretty. Yeah, and sip. It? You haven't tried it. Yeah, yeah, I'll sip. With your fancy glass. Mm. Mm. Yeah, nope, not a whole lot to any of them. I mean, Which, I, like, I like number one. The rest of them don't really smell like anything. This glass is pretty sweet, though. <clears throat> it is nice. I like this one. Oh, my sister's watching. Hi, Nicole. What's good? Oh, yeah, of course I do. So hey, I have hey, the information you know you on this right bagels here. versus pretzels. What is it? Bagels This is bread, isn't it? Oh, no, it's bread. <laughs> Wait, you looked it up. Yeah, I Google it. Oh, okay. I so, figured well, Brett, I figured Brett would look at the fuck up and be like, you guys are boiled. Well, he did actually make a comment about how they're bagels boiled, but they're actually both boiled. So bagels are boiled in water and a little bit of malt syrup. 
Which oh, penetrates the dough and makes it slightly sweeter okay. um, and changes the color slightly. <laughs> Pretzels are boiled in an alkaline solution, which gives them a more um, kind of slightly soapy flavor and deep brown hue. And that would be the baking soda, in case you don't know. Number four has a scent. I guess you get something out of four. Do? You guys got any out of four, guys. It's not, it's not strong. I probably miss that game. Absolutely. But I, I know I should have filled yours up. <laughs> I barely get it. I don't get barely get it. Yeah. I get a little more than the others, I think, but certainly not as much as one. That was the worst. Number one. Well, it fills yours. Yeah, number one has a great smell to it. I can like it. Let me run back on number one. Holy shit. 13. Like literally no smell at all. It's not like no smell at all. What? 13 Brent people. Likes Whoa, 13 us. people. That's like a new record. It's because it's because we tagged our point. Nate. That's right. Because Nate Doug's in the house. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm getting most. I'm getting something out of this. I'm getting a little out of this one that you guys That's were right. getting. So I think probably I'm gonna go with eight on those and seven on all the other ones. That's basically. You I don't gave, smell bad. I gave this one nine. I gave, all the other seven. Yeah, I gave number one nine. All the rest seven. So three, six. Well, all right. Now the bullshit's out the way. Let's drink. Let's drink. All right. All right. Brent's Starting questioning with... the difference uh, or the distance between you guys. Yes. Bubbles. It's bubbles. Brett, we made out earlier. It's fine. <laughs> We're all pointing in the same direction. We are. We're all breathing at our wives. Or yeah, I get it all. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, we're outdoors at a castle. It's true. Everyone knows it's safe outdoors. He read his tap that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. He didn't here see it up here. close, though. Oh, here it comes. Here, here it comes. It's real close. It's real close, too. Be, we're watching. Yes, we're watching ourselves watch ourselves. It's really weird. Actually. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Floating beer glass. Woo. You have to see the um, hashtags. I'm not, no, I'm not feeling it. I'm not. I'm, I'm with you, Nate. I don't it's quite. Pretty standard. It's pretty standard. It's standard. It's it's not. It's Which is funny to, see. To, it to me. And it has a bit of a stronger aftertaste, and the hops, if it is a higher IBU, they don't normally add a lot of color, but it can add, explain a little bit of the color. Why it's a tiny bit darker, yeah, and the aroma. Because again, it all comes out. I, I think it's good, but the aftertaste isn't like good. I like the upfront taste, but the bitterness on the back of the tongue yeah. at the end is just not as filtery as I'm liking. I feel like my scores are pretty good with that. So I'm gonna give it a 26 on that, but like a 15 on aftertaste. So overall drinkability, I'm gonna go down a point because of the aftertaste and go to 25. I think that tastes fine. Wow, that sounded very complicated. <laughs> Your scoring method, I don't know. <laughs> well, generally, generally, our scoring method is like this: like we rate taste because drinkability is like a weird sort of thing. It's just—it's usually just like, would you order a pint of it? Would you order a second pint of it? Right. And so we usually base it on taste, and then you take your taste score and you either make it a little higher than your taste score or a little lower than your taste mm -hmm. score. If it has like a really, really good aftertaste, or like if it smelled or just looked beautiful, sometimes that means you kind of want a little bit more drinkable. So I adjusted my scores a little bit because I didn't mean to give it a 26 on taste. So it's got an okay taste, so I gave it a 24 and then a 23 on drinkability. So I got 76 up. for mine, I think. Oh, let's see. 38. Yeah, 38. that's right. Yeah, 38. I'm happy. Good. Yeah, 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 I think that it's it's pretty drinkable. There's no off flavors. It's nothing off. There's nothing to turn me off about the beer. No, there's no, nothing that's calling to me. Like four or five seconds into the app, yeah, there's nothing. Yeah. yeah, there's just a little bit on the sides of the tongue that I just don't like. It's that's probably really that Carolina Reaper jelly bean, man. Hey, man, I'm gonna tell you right now, Carolina Reaper jelly beans, no joke. That stuff burned. <laughs> Although, not the second. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what happened with Callie. I, maybe she didn't get the Carolina Reaper because if I got the Cayenne. Level three, and she got the reaper at level five, and she's just like, I don't know, it doesn't matter. But she she was hiding she it from you guys. She did hide a lot though. That was she hot. she did turn red oh, and yeah. she coughed. She did. She tried hiding you the cough. No joke, man. They were no joke. How are you on hot stuff, Nate? You want a hot ass jelly bean? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it yeah, took a minute for them to like realize it was hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah, kind of funny. Like that. Not like that one time at the, the, hot, dog the challenge. hot dog challenge. Oh god. Woo <laughs> Still hot. I still I'm still, I'm still Oh, still you're running too hot. Huh? I, I, I was just watching. Oh, okay. I, oh, oh right. I I just, yeah. No, I, I'm still mad I didn't finish it. And then I was going to go back and try to do it, but the place closed. And you're the only one that stayed after. I got three quarters of the way through. No, didn't go to the hospital. Only one person went to the hospital. That was amazing. That day will go down. Yeah, you didn't go to the hospital. Or I'm suffering. 
All right, so what's number two? I suffered. Yeah, I mean, it's me that suffered. You married me, you always suffer. I think, uh, just so you know, where I was concerned, you didn't have a measuring no, tape to measure happened. out the distance, and he suggested an alternative measuring technique. Yes, he did. Six of my penis. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> the fact that you knew that. Oh, did he say six <laughs> uh, But no. The fact that you knew that is awesome. Was, was I agree. Right, right, right. Of course it was rest. <laughs> I would appreciate being underestimated, Brett. <laughs> yeah, that's, this was Okay, this is, um, this is not a straight filter. No, nope. it's not my This favorite. has got something else in it. Yeah, it's got um, um, It might be the hops. I think it's hops. This has got to be a hops filter. <laughs> Like, there's definitely a flavor here. It's like, um, like the first one was pretty close to like a standard filter, just like a nice, easy sort of drink. This one hits you with, um, there's a like a flavor. I don't want to say it's citrus, there. but there is something on the front end that is, mm. I gotta believe it's from the hops. It almost tastes like grape. Smell this. Smell yeah, it. I was thinking, like, it's, like it's a citrusy flavor. Mm. Give it a smell now that you've had a drink. Mm. I get a little bit of it, but I don't know. I feel like it smells like it tastes to me now. I don't know. That's sort of how it works, right? It's it is science or something. I taste our viewers now. Seven. It is great. It, it is, I taste grapefruit. It, there's oh, I know why it's there's something citrusy. I will tell you later why this one's different. Well, we'll, we'll have to introduce the cans. If it has grapefruit in it, I will consider myself a success. <laughs> Get with the hot seat. I didn't encourage. I, I, I don't know. I didn't. I don't know. I didn't. So the problem is, I don't not like it. I like it. I like it. But I don't think I one. really like it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the flavor. I like the. Aftertaste of this one better than the first one, but I don't know if I like it overall better than the first one. I don't. I give it a seven. Nathan does not. I don't like it as much as the first one either. Honestly, I don't know why. It's probably the Hubble Sea one I thought was amazing in my glass. <laughs> <laughs> Which will be funny if it is the case. So I gave it a sixteen on aftertaste. Is that really twenty three on taste? Amazing. You brought the camera. The lift. Thirty. Can you read it? Mm -hmm. It probably is on both things. 78, one point lower. It would be hysterical. Probably is. I don't know. Because we love the Humble Sea. Like the problem with the Humble Sea, the problem with the Humble Sea is that if that was the Humble Sea, which it may or might have been, is that it's got an obviously different <coughs> flavor like involved. And we're comparing it versus these like straight up two like German Pilsners. So like on its own, I probably want to drink more, but I'm comparing it to like a bunch of other like straight Pilsner clones or whatever. Like I feel like it's gonna, I don't know, it's weird. I know, I agree. I think I would rate it higher in a blind, blind test where, like, I was blindfolded. You didn't know what it was. And I had an idea of right. a building and a stab. Right. And, you know, and I was just blindfolded, blindfolded. I feel like I would rate this one higher. And actually, you would probably tier. come in, you'd probably think it was more of a pale ale-ish or even a, a, a light hobby session IPA yeah. than, a, than a Pilsner. Mm -hmm. I don't think just on taste I would call it a Pilsner. I'm going to feel bad. I mean, if this is the Humble Sea Pilsner, like, I apologize, Humble Sea. Like, if I rated you most of the time, I'm pretty sure I'd give you guys, like, an 85 or a 90. So, we love that. Uh, it might just be bad timing. We do love that. Number three. Now I'm worried. Hopefully it's like a month. <laughs> Hopefully it's like two months old. <laughs> what breweries do we have today? Oh, we never talked about breweries we have today because we didn't. Uh, we didn't oh, we didn't. Well, we can. We can. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. So we have seven seven beers. Obviously, um, this is going off memory. Uh, I know we have Modern Times. Yes. Uh, Ice is the name of their pilsner. We have uh, Stones Pilsner, which is uh, Internight. Internight. They're metallic. We have Humble Seas King of the Pills. King of the Krill, isn't it? King of the something. You might be right. Um, let's see. I feel like there's an Oakland United in here. Yeah. I think so too. Um, there's a novel brewing in here. We'll talk more about each brewery as we yes, modern, as we do it. modern so, times. I got modern times. So that one first. <clears throat> oh, um, original patterns in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh and bear bot. Yeah, I think that's seven, right? That's seven. There you go. I'm pretty sure I got all seven off memory. Pretty you good. Did. Nate, what were your scores on the first two? Uh, so if you math, have you math yet? I have not math. If I do math on screen, that's probably a bad thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Never, never do math in public, right? That's no, no. <laughs> I do just do it in here. Yeah, I just I mean, the, what's what's important is the first one I rated higher than the second one. That's fair. That's and, true. Uh, Quite a bit too. by a significant amount. Yep. Yeah. Now, number the first three. One, number three, I really like. I really. This like is a straight pills. This is one. Straight this is one I would definitely go back. This is, yeah, this is... It's good, though. The flavor's and right. It's, and the flavor's and exactly what the flavor should be. And I wouldn't say, you know, in, in comparison to the other one, it's, I wouldn't say it tastes like a Coors, because that's meant to be like a little bit of 
a slight. This might be the stone. In this case, it's good. Predicting a stone. I like it. has a little bit more body to it than. It's I, well, and again, it doesn't have the bitterness. It doesn't have the, the citrusy aromas. It's just a good, clean. This is a beer that if you're outside and it's 100 degrees and you came in the house, you're like, okay, I want to drink this yep. because I can take big gulps of it and not worry about overpowering it. Agreed. It's also going to be good with that roasted salsa. You can do that with like every IPA, honestly. The problem is that IPAs that are all fucking hazy, just full of like pulp and juice or something, so you can't really slam them. Like less those, like that's true. The clear ones, you can you can crush a clear one pretty good. Like those hazy ones that are just juicy bombs, like you cannot slam those as well. So you give it a 26 on taste and drinkability and 17 on aftertaste. We agree that beer splaining could use some ladies, but our wives refuse to appear on camera. Uh, so we'll have to get some female guest stars. Yeah, we'll who, wants, who wants to guest star? Want, who wants to guest star? Probably Marcy. <clears throat> Marcy would totally do it. She would totally guest Marcy star. Marcy would totally do it. I'll have to talk to Marcy. This is good. I think. I like it. I think it again, better number this one, is but this is a clean, fun. straight up pilsner. It would have been nice to have get, gotten it from a club, but because it's so mass produced, I can't imagine. Stay cold. 52, 60, 19, 76. I gave that an 85. Damn, you guys really like it that one? Well, it's a filter. I tied it with number one. I tied it with number one. I tied it with number one. Now, if I'm doing a blind taste test and comparing it to pale and IPAs, am I going to choose this as the best beer? No, but it's the best pilsner we've had by far of the first two. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just talking about this one. There's something about it that I like and something about it I didn't. I'm just because it had a blast of flavor to it. The flavor is just like right in your face on number two, yeah. like right off the bat. It's not a standard filter flavor. Mm -hmm. It's almost more of a, not an IPA, like a super hoppy IPA, mm -hmm. like some sort of like a more obscure IPA. Brett's going to do a female version of the show. Cool. Sounds cool. We can like. I'll watch. Well, he was concerned because we don't, there's no one else in our bubble. So Marcy's not actually in the bubble. She's not. No, COVID's a joke. It's not real. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we haven't left our house really in six months. That's correct. And why I have to wear a the six crap months, ton of gear at the work. The six-month anniversary is coming up in a week. <laughs> it is definitely why she has to wear a bunch of uh, crap ton of stuff at work. The reason we don't let their house is because the only people who like us are in the house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a point there. There's a point there. Turns out I'm a dish best served cold. <laughs> or not served at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a dickish thing to say. I, 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 sorry, Corey. It's fine. I'm going to overcharge you next time I see a spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> I checked the math, Corey. No, you don't. <laughs> there's still nothing. There's no snow here. No, I'm not getting any of that one. Thank you. Another chip. I actually like this one too. It is a sausage fest in every way. I was like, you guys aren't eating your sausages. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what, Brad. Just for you, Matt. Next show, I'll do it on my Harley Quinn wig. All right, and then it'll almost be like the sun shorts. Show. I cut up the shirt. <clears throat> Steph is more than welcome to join us too. And then this we'll is you don't like this one. I like it. Oh, okay. I, I just said, I actually think I, I like. This, this might actually be better even three. better than number three. I agree. Yeah. It's got this is the best beer so far. This is the best beer so far. It's got yeah. as a pilsner. Yeah. It's got yeah. everything it's supposed to have. It's clean. It's crisp. It's not overpowering. It's very drinkable. I bet this is going to be the <laughs> Open United. All the beers have just been so on target. Yes. I, look, and for a brewery that we had had a chance to visit. That doesn't have a big name cachet out there that I'm aware of. Everything we've had is awesome. This one's really smooth, but yep. and it has a little bit more body than it, number three did. So it feels. I'm liking it overall. Feels yeah, a little bit better. It's got that sort of bottom. Oh yeah, <laughs> Carrie says hello. Oh nice. She said. She said it was yeah. Nice of us to add much needed class. <laughs> 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 Which I would not disagree with. <laughs> Man, Carrie, that's fine. <laughs> I think you mean more class. Much needed more class. Additional class, if you will. Class plus. Uh, let's see. She's I, just I really, Team Questa still, even if she moved the car. That's true. It's all about Team Questa. Team Questa. Go with Team Questa. I'm giving this 28. I think it's really good. Really good. I think it's the best tasting for sure. Yeah. The aftertaste is good 12.9. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying, oops, no, it's 9. Mean, 18. 18. I mean 18. Yeah, I mean 18. 16, this is going to be four, easier four, to subtract. Four, it's 2, 4, 6, <laughs> nine, yeah, This is definitely nine. something I would go out. Like you were saying. This like is this is something you I go would go out and find. <laughs> this is a really good one right here. I do like this one a lot. Well, Nate, if you're lucky, we have extras and you can get a party gift. Yeah, nice. Take a party gift. It's 
really hard to tell. It's, we're a little short on beer, but the truth is that we basically never go to our fridge and pick out a place in our life ever. Nope. It's true. Wait, can you repeat that last statement? You're short on beer? I know. I was like, we are? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> say, say hi to Uncle Glenn. Hi, Uncle Glenn! Who's Uncle Glenn? My uncle. He's uncle. uncle. He's a, he's a big train guy. He's a, got like the savage, like, oh my god, savage model uh, train set up in his backyard, like, fucking full on. Uh, like, he does it at like, he does like feature displays at like model train shows. Like, he's that big and that's the whole thing. He like manufactures his own parts, like, wow. inside like his garage. He's got like a whole workshop going. They actually just bought a place like in Paradise. Yeah, it was, um, and he's his uncle with his friends. Posey, 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 that oh, was so cool. Yeah, and when, and when we really tried awesome. to, they moved, really, really cool. the idea of moving must have just scared him to death because the, literally the entire two car garage was a model train. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is Jennifer talking about my model train? Nate no, is, Brett. <laughs> Nate is military. Yeah, Nate's military. And oh, I was. National Guard, correct? Yeah, you haven't military. seen Brett's comment yet? Which one? Sausage Jesus. Screenshot of this for my friend Bishop. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, some of the comments get a the little... The screenshot one? I would say it will help you get laid, but the reality is it's a grinder profile. I don't think anyone needs help to get laid on grinder profile. I took a couple pictures. We could send him one. Yeah, oh, yeah. There you go. Emma will fix them up for you. You know she takes a fine photo. No, Brett doesn't know. I see, I can't see any oh. of the comments. So. You know what? I can move it over. Right there. There you go. No, because I can read it from here. Yeah, but now I can't read it. Oh. Fuck these guys, who cares? It's fine. You weren't reading them anyway. Whatever, I read them out anyway. Yeah, producer D Thanks, Brett. reads shit out. <clears throat> All right, let's drink. Are we moving on? Yeah, we're yes. Moving. Number five, the lightest looking of the beers. <clears throat> the lightest looking of the beers. There we go. See, no, I know you can put it on my phone. Yeah, okay. So this, this tastes like it's like the mind. lightest looking of the beers. He's like, I'm not going to read them. <laughs> this was, yeah, this was the one I was worried about the most. I gave one of the lower scores. I don't think it's... I don't think it's bad. I'm just not sure there's a ton of flavor there. It's almost yeah, you're right. too. No, oh, yeah, this is too, watery. Too so flavor. when I see pilsners, that's the color I imagine. Oh yeah, we it's it is these. it is that this is the pilsner light. color this is to me. Like if you compare, do we have any cores? We just like pour our cores real quick. No, I'm kidding. We're not any cores mass. We taste this. No, I give my difference. No, I don't. In my left hand and my right hand. This yeah, I see is your thumb slightly. is making it a little different, but one's a little darker, like for sure. It's not a lot though. Yes. By the way, I think I just had this one. So. I think seven? Yeah, because I just had to taste it so I can oh, okay. So. Yeah, this is this I feel like this is probably the modern times. I, I I'm guessing this is the modern times, because I'm pretty sure I've had ice before. And I'm pretty sure it was kind of a light and, sure. Very and easy. This is an easy drinking beer though. Like but there's just not a lot. So here's the thing. Air, it is drinkable very, very because light. there's not a lot to it. This is one of those ones where it's like you'd have the guys who go to the bar and order eight Bud Lights. Right. Okay, crush these like they were PBRs, man. Exactly. Yeah. This is this is one of the ones you're just gonna you're gonna knock back six or eight of these. We will be crushing PBRs on show, actually. <laughs> we are. No, they're for the uh, Wheel of Death, yeah. which yeah. we we have an item for. Yeah, the Wheel of Death yes, is all we PBR. Do. We're gonna put the spicy jelly yeah, beans in. We're gonna do a show with the wheel over their name, and it's gonna have half of them with good stuff to put in, and half of them with bad stuff. They're add, 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 add jumps for the beer. We'll see what happens. What? No, it's gotta be at least. And then we're gonna put something in a PBR, so it could be jalapeno juice, it could oh, be pepper, the spicy and we jelly don't get beans. To know what it is. Oh no! And they spin the wheel. I, to pick I feel like Brett would want to be on that I show. Agree with Come on that. out, Brett! Definitely have to watch that one. That one's definitely gonna be a must. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. CTV. Did we schedule that one no yet? Ghost peppers, no. right? Well, there's the yeah. spicy, no the spicy jelly beans. <laughs> What's yes, let's make them eat spicy jelly beans. No, yes, that's going to be added to their beer. Is hotter than yes. two rats effing in a wool sock. It is. Oh, 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 all my scores are wrong. It is 110 degrees out here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was scoring after taste that. I've changed on all those. They're all oh, no. So I actually have an 86, 81, 86. Okay, so. My score's actually pretty good. So it's I'm giving so it like what? a 20. Is it? One on taste because there's not a lot to it. And I'm giving it actually a higher drinkability of 23 just because it is actually drinkable. It's just not. A whole lot to it. I'm also going to go with like an 11 on aftertaste because again, not a whole lot to it. So this this one's going to get clogged. On so I'm at 7, 7, 22, 17, 23. I think the drinkability is 17 there. on aftertaste. I think that's fine. There's no aftertaste. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, I get a little There's going to be, there's like, gonna be a show. About this that we're very, very light. Yeah. They're going to love like, it's almost like a, it's almost like a Pilsner light. Yeah, I scored it higher. I scored it 26 on face, but then I scored it 23 on drinkability. That's fine. Okay. It's, you know, no, that's it's, not, it doesn't taste bad. I'm just not, it doesn't I, taste bad. It's just there's not a lot of, yeah. there's just not a lot there. It's, there's just not. It just kind of tastes like, like just plain Sutter. beer. Like, I'm not sure I'd go back to it. Like, of all the beers we've had so far, I feel like it's the one I'm least likely to go back for Basically, more. which probably means I have an entire four pack of it in my if fridge. It's, if it's a regular show, this is we the last one that two of us drink. We don't have a pouring these other ones out and drinking them, and this is the last one that we finish. So. I feel That's like we're drinking these really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to watch us drink for two hours, babe. <laughs> We're trying to get the show to under 40 minutes. <laughs> so you don't have to finish uh, it yeah. before you move to the next It's too much. It's less than two minutes. They're finishing it. I can drive you have to. You're pressure, man. No, no, it's less than two minutes. You're pressure, bitch. It's only... Actually, it's just slightly over two minutes. It's 35 ounces. It's just over two minutes. Yeah. Okay, so... You should be totally fine. Just have a pretzel dog. I know. They're not going to eat the pretzel dog. should be totally fine. Just have a pretzel dog. <laughs> I know, eat some food while it's not even warm anymore. Nobody wants to watch it. not exactly a great show. thing to watch on show. I, 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 actually, sauce I actually decided. <laughs> I Brett, would like show, it. Brett would like it. Brett would definitely want to see that part of the show. Here, Brett. All right, just for <laughs> you. Wait, you need some cheese dip. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a zoom right, in? We have to watch this show, Kevin Yeah. Yeah. That was, that, was, that was good television right there. That was good television. <laughs> you can take a minute to finish. Seven or seven. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> oh my god, you took half of it. I know, well, you know, I'm not, you know, hey, go big or go home, okay? Jesus in fact, Corey. Nobody wants to watch me take just the tip. <laughs> Probably true. All right. My point was, I watched some of our previous shows. If there was a we have dinner on camera. It really doesn't look that great. <laughs> right, we just literally yeah. just I don't think it's great. I don't think it's great. I agree with that. The beer's plenty of money shot. <laughs> Can we get a fill of that for this? Nate, by the way, Nate's going to come back. They should be like, wait, 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 wait. I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, I'm not going to bust. <laughs> All right, so that's the one. Like, Are you sure? Look at, look, look, at, look, look at this beer. This is your beer. It's the glass. Yeah, no, it's not look right. It's only cloudy All because All three it's of them look different. Look, I know it's crazy. Yours and mine are very similar color, but yours is different because it's thicker. It's crazy. It's, it's a, it's a fatter glass. Right. No, I know, I know I get it. I get it. I'm just saying it's weird to me. That's a fat glass. Is it but when you pour it, did you pour his first? Maybe. Look, yeah, That's a good there. question. Uh, no, actually, his okay. was poured last. Oh, okay. So he would have gotten the sediment the if Maybe there was sediment. sediment. I don't think there was any sediment. Those things on actual glass, there's a Pilsner glass. Like, a Pilsner is more likely to actually be produced in your glass. Yes. Of these three shapes. Yeah. They're, they're supposed to be more... Well, I'll grab a Pilsner's glass that. before it's over. We should probably try to get the right glass for each show. That'd be kind of fun. Not to actually drink that because we only have so many tasters. Okay. I was going to say... I agree. I agree. Oh, so yeah, it's no, a no, glass. Yeah. I agree. glass. This is the Pilsner glass. I agree. We have every shape of glass, though. We may have all the glasses in our garage. We have, we have a million. We have oh, a million we have glasses. them, too. We have more than a million. <laughs> I've got tubs of them in storage. But don't you have a lot of pint glasses? Yes. I've got a lot of pint glasses, but I also have um, the Samuel Adams lager glass, which is the, the thin and then bulb at the top. We actually have the Modern Times ice one. So, I mean, it's basically this, just taller. We have a whole bunch of those kinds of glasses. So. This one is... I thought I did. This one might even be less flavorful than the last one. You no, guys, no you got to send it again. No way. No way, no way. This has got, like, I'm getting, like, a flavored punch out of this. Like, yeah, a little okay. bit it's there, I think. I, oh, no, there it is. Okay. I'm not sure it's as flavorful as some of the earlier ones. But it's actually, I think, it's again, definitely a Pilsner it's flavor. more true to the Pilsner. I agree. That's, I agree. <clears throat> This one's hard to put your finger on, though. It is. I, I, love, I, I definitely, I definitely do not hate it. That's the truth. Like, I think it's very good. I'm just it's not very sure. drinkable. I'm just not sure where on the good scale it belongs. <laughs> I just yawned. <laughs> Producer A's making fun of us again. I, I, I still don't know if I put it above number four, but uh, it definitely has some flavor to it. It's just kind of hard to put your finger on. It's more, like, I would say sour. 
in the other. Well, and there's also there's also the idea that the it's been warming. The like, these are one of the beers you want to have cold. So as they've been sitting, the warmer they get, the flavor profile will change. Maybe a little. Maybe we should call into question the entire basis of our show. All right, we have to pour them ahead of time. Just pointing out that as they drink more, they get worse. Or something well, it's I didn't. Yeah, see your anything. producers aren't hand delivering each beer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> nah. What? Nah. Man. Just ignore what he just said, you guys. All the beers are fine. They're all cryogenically the same temperature. <laughs> also, whatever. It's fine. They don't get that much different. Unless they get warm. No, no, None no, of these are warm. warm. They're not no, it's still not warm. I agree. How am I gonna rate this? It's so this hard. is I think it's like a twenty seven. I think it's roughly beer three ish, honestly. I think yeah. it might be a little better. I'd like than to beer know beer. why he's a good date. I'm gonna go to twenty five. Cause I cause I deep throw the hot <laughs> Say hi to Patty. Hi, Patty. Oh, hi, Patty. I thought I saw her out running the other day. It's Patty. The odds are pretty good you did, in fact, see her out running. No, because she was actually in like. Is that what the problem is? Too she hung out with me the other day when I hung out. Like, I ran into her on Monday. Her and Lindsay were getting in Lindsay's last five to hit like I didn't think whatever Lindsay's down. mileage goal for the month was, probably like 150 or something nuts. Yeah, no, Lindsay's been gone. Um, like, yeah, her and Patty were at like 9 p.m. or 9 30 p.m. I ran over them at the corner. Yeah, I thought, but I thought I saw Patty with her kids because you know she had the Patty gait, you know that little bouncy, energetic run that Patty has, and I'm like, that was a Patty. Patty yeah, does say hi like, back. Uh, no, too tall. Just got back from the gym. All right, that's the new leader for me, actually. She did really? a short three and a half. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice, Patty. We uh, I didn't run today because I'm lazy, uh, and it's hot. I did run five miles yesterday, That's and then I went on a 19-mile bike ride, so... I did I that well. I, I, I tried to go swimming, but it turns out I have a pool. No, we're not getting a pool, producer D. <laughs> yes. What? I didn't say anything! <laughs> Except everyone around us wants us to get a pool. Corey I think said, Nate should get a pool. Corey said we uh, should get a pool. <laughs> He's like, I think oh, you no. guys should get a pool so that we don't have to. <laughs> we, we have the appropriate age children for a pool. No, you so they can clean it? Or, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So they can clean it? Like they clean the house. <laughs> your kids, your kids That's a whole so different decision. Or, or the dog can be mad if you get a pool. They're going to be mad. Their, our kids would be. So that's the new leader for me. I don't know about you guys. I, no, I gave it 81. I really like it. It's the middle of the road. I really like it. I still get it. It's second for you. Where else wants us to get a pool? 89.85. Oh, you're right. I have a 90. You're right. I gave it 85. All right, last year. All right, last year. Okay. Brett, you you got space. You should just tear that house down behind you and put a pool. Ooh, we'd go visit him more. <laughs> we would have gone. We would go visit him if we just had more crawfish bowls. Let's be honest. I we're, know. I was we're sad. We were all we very devastated. This is so good. I think you're right. This might be the humble seat. We'll have to invite you next time to sure. our friend Brett, who's been making all the good comments. Yeah, Brett, we're going to invite Nate to your house. Don't we do are. I will. I'm going to do that. Brett, Brett's like, whatever, I'm trying. <laughs> he flies in several hundred pounds of crawfish, fresh the day of a crawfish boil that he has in Tobacco. Oh my god, it's so uh, He has live bands. Uh, it's just, yes, it's just a fun day. It's great. They're great people. Brett and Steph, we love Brett and Steph. Yes. So we missed the crawfish boil, was one of the victims of COVID, and it was probably one of the ones that hit me hardest. Like, Going out to the movies, yeah, I can live with that. We were going to skip a beer festival to go to the crawfish club. Right. We the were. beer festival we had tickets Stop. for. That's correct. The, the beer festival we had actually paid for. Wait, Brett, you're no. officially Brett, invited. You're welcome Brett, there. Make sure to invite me. Thank he already you says so you're much. invited. You're invited. Right. in. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about beer number seven. This is, I'm telling you, I think this is the humble I'm pretty sure this beer's good. <laughs> really good. But I don't think I don't know what Nate's going to lie. I don't know what Nate's going to lie. I don't know what Nate's going to lie. I like it. I like it. You know... For a second, I thought it was going to be a little bit hoppy, but it never materialized. Right, it, right. Uh, it's it just actually, got a good pungent it's flavor. It's got a good pungent flavor, yeah. The flavor's like different than the other pilsners, but it's like in the same sort of family as the right. other pilsners, except there's like something else there. Actually, yeah. yeah the, there's no doubt. This I is my favorite drink. You're talking number one here, yeah. This is, <clears> this is a really, really good drink. Yeah, you definitely saved saved the best for last, I think. Huh? What did you say, Patty? Number this seven, I think, is this number has got to be a I think it's number seven. I don't know. This, this, this is fucking good. No, we this do. We love, we love Brett and Steph. We miss those guys. And uh, quite honestly, I, I miss the kids, too. Walter and Veronica are, are crack-ups. I love them. They are so funny, original. We'll have a pool party when we put it in. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting a pool. 
<laughs> Come on. Do you guys have more space than we do? <clears throat> yeah, this is Holy definitely yeah. number seven, hands down, I think the best. It was yeah, a it was a tough fight with number four, but I think it was number close. Seven I went 92 better than 94. Are we all scored? And that one I gave an 82 as my top here. Or 92, excuse me. 90, 90, I was like, your top 82? After you left it. 92. 92. Are you all scored? We are. We are all scored. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The big reveal. I'll make the rest of my hot Yeah, I gave it a 92. Thanks, Brett. We appreciate you caring about our Nielsen pick. One. One. Two. Three. Oh, you got That was two? We did kill it. We'll see. Oh, wow. I was right. We killed it, too. Not for you. Oh, well. Wow. So what, what seven oh, why am I so not surprised? All right. Which one is it? Bear Oh, Bear Bottom. Okay, all right. So we'll start with Bear Number Shane One. Shane, tell us about the first three. Bear Number One from Oakland United. Uh, they called it just straight Oakland United Tilsner. I gave it an 86. I gave it a 78. I gave it a 79, which is a good score. It is actually a, a little higher than the IBUs, which might explain why we didn't like it so much, Nate, because it's at 26 IBUs, 4.8% alcohol. Uh, let's see. We use only the best floor malted German Bohemian Pilsner malt for our Pilsner. Floral on the nose, which I agree with. Light in body. We give you a crisp, well-balanced lager that's sure to please and pairs with everything from yeah, pizza yeah. to pate. I do saying, like to read the game. It's worth saying, so Oakland United is a uh, reasonably new brewery. It is located in the Jack London area of Oakland. Uh, it's small. Uh, they do have a small outdoor section. You can go there and you can get a beer right now without having to order an entire burger to yourself. Um, they do have a barbecue. They do have Julie, to start with food, but, Yep, but it was, I, again. Dude was hella cool. The, oh, and their the, Mexican lager is off the chain, dude. And we did not, we did not kill this beer. It's a good beer. Yeah, yeah, the Mexican yeah. lager. I gave it. I gave it a seventy-nine. You didn't get to try the Mexican lager. It was very good. We tasted their. They they won our IPA, our they did. Oakland Hazy IPA they did. Contest, yes. contest a couple weeks ago. So they were great. All right, so number two, I do feel bad about. Them. Number yes. two is actually a West Coast Pills, so that explains the hoppiness. That does explain the hops. Featuring Nelson and Motueka hops. So Motueka. Yeah. That's King of the Krill. Which is oh, what right. Amber said. Uh, Motueka. Which it's good. Motueka. This is, a yes. great, this is a great beer, like, on its own. I'm just not sure, like, it pairs up well against other Pilsners. Because they're clearly, it's, like, if you gave me these seven glasses of wine, and you told me to classify them all, I would think that beer number two was, like, a not different a class I agree. of beer. But, but that's, but again, the West exactly Coast, which is, yeah. it doesn't say what the, the IBUs are, but i got to guess it's in the, in the low 30s. This was the one we said tasted a little grapefruity. Yep. Yeah, yes. you said grapefruity, yeah. so which is probably the 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 yeah. yeah. I, mean, so, I, would, I think it's if it's, you want a lot of flavor. I mean, there's a lot of flavor there. I think it's really good. I just I agree. I think I mean, it in, in the end, in the end, right? Are you comparing it to Pilsner Pilsners? Or are you comparing it to you know IPAs and pale ales and something? I expect it would compare really nicely to West Coast. So, uh, so Humble Sea is a Santa Cruz brewery. Their location is only available with takeout right now, or you can order online if you have like. A bot or super fast fingers. Um, also, they charge a shipping for shipping. Not super Which fast I, fingers, but they yeah, make, the shipping kind of kills. They it. make some of the best hazy IPAs in Northern California. And their pop series right now down. is amazing. Um, some of their kettle sour style beers are quite good. And they have a blue beer. Well, blue. Uh, it's more purple. But uh, beer, green. you have this. What oh, was it, green? The more green. Oh, that it, was, it, was, it was a turquoise yet. Yeah. Uh, but they make great beer, honestly. Hopefully, they'll open back up for some dying, well, not dying, but drinking. They don't do food. But uh, it's a nice spot. Uh, it's in Santa Cruz. It's kind of up near the downtown, near the Very downtown. Small. It's not near the boardwalk, kind of up near where the sort of the shop, <laughs> like the little shop on the strip mall sort of street is. Um, it's a good spot. It's small. It's very small. It's small. It's very popular. But um, worth it. But they make the great beer. Legitimately, they probably have a top five, like a top three hazy, probably in the Bay Area, I think, um, or Northern California. Well, basically, anytime we get an IPA from them, it ranks very well. They do a lot of unfiltered. Yeah, I tend to put them in the same class as um, as a hen house for me. I agree. Um, hen house is still my number one. Probably like a new glory for staff. Like that. I, think, I think of them as the best brewery in the Santa Cruz area for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, like probably is, even South Bay. Like hen house is definitely the best brewery in like the Santa Rosa area. And I think new glory probably is the best brewery in the 
second. second. We haven't had enough slice, but slice is getting a lot of push. And a lot of slice has been really good, though. Yeah. So, but at, for right now, it is it is new growth. It's a good spot, though. If you go to Santa Cruz, I hope after COVID, and, you know, make it stop. Well, you can get here to go. Yeah, but it's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah, but it's so small that you can, you're lucky if you get a seat. You've always got a seat. So the beer number three is the Stone, which I love the gargoyle, and Sir Knight Pilsner. Right. Says, listen to Metallica, just in case you needed to know. Fun okay. fact, the gargoyle has no name. That is correct. We learned that last night during our show. Uh, the gargoyle has no name. Um, not a whole lot to it. 5.7% alcohol, which is a high high alcohol pills. contract yeah. with, for a Pilsner. Uh, not a whole I think this, I this on 86, which is um, tied for third. I on. gave it a 85, point. which I it really came in far. pretty high on me. I want to say this was my number three. It's good. I gave it 87. 87, which is also very high for you. Yes. And love the canner. I love everything about though them, Stone, Arrogant Bastard. If you've never had it, you have to have it. You have to try it at least once. Okay. It's totally worth it. So Stone Brewery, if you want to visit Stone Brewery, uh, you've got a couple options. There's one in Napa, which is uh, really a nice, they took over a nice old building. Ton of outdoor seating right now. Um, mm -hmm. Contact this. Right along the river. Um, contact this order. It's right along the river. Uh, they actually open for indoor dining this week because apparently Napa is significantly better at preventing Napa. the COVID than um, Alameda or San Joaquin. Or Contra uh, Costa. Or Contra Costa. Napa is open. Or Station is open. For example, if you want to go see a film, you could drive to Napa and you could go to a movie theater. I know, I know it's surprising those still exist, but they do. An indoor movie theater. Yeah, yeah they do. And uh, so they've got that one now, but that's your closest one. They've also got a beautiful facility in Escondido, which is their headquarters initially, I think. I haven't been there. Yes, it is. They started in Escondido. Oh, it is. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a huge beer garden. You can like, do like a walking tour of the beer garden, and it takes you like 10 minutes to just walk around these paths. And along the path, they've got different little tables, benches, and like lawn chair setups. Um, that's on top of the fact they have a pool restaurant that looks like it has like probably some upper story seating. Lower seating ants and outdoor space. And the food is pretty good. Um, the gift shop's good. That's in Escondido. We've also got one in downtown San Diego, which uh, was kind of a smaller spot right underneath uh, at the bottom of like one of those apartment buildings that people live in, kind of, um, which was a nice little spot. And then I believe they have one in Richmond, Virginia. They have one in Richmond, Virginia, and I believe one overseas in Los Angeles. They sold, it to, they sold that to BrewDog, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. So they had one okay. overseas. They had one in like, Germany. In, like, Munich or something. I think. Something, yeah, it was somewhere. And they sold that one to, I think, Brewed Off. Okay. So, yeah, I think um, Richmond is there in their second. That one was good too. Hi, Lonnie. You're going to go to number four. There's still. Apparently, I'm just going to tell you about the brewery. So, okay. I'm going to tell you about I'll the brewery. I'll do the can. That works out pretty good, actually. It works out pretty good. Number four is Original Pattern, Country Dr. Pilsner. Also, a little high on 5.4%. Oh, oh. What's more beer shaking? Yeah, there's, there's a little bit in some of these. Yeah. What's on those? Yeah, take whatever you want. Yeah. It's just it's a tiny bit. I take um, number four. I like there you go, number four. <laughs> well, let him read the can. Yeah, there you go. Original pattern is very good. It needs to be the original pattern. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, well, there's, not, there's nothing on it. Oh, original yeah. pattern. Okay. Uh, no, what's, the, what's the ABV? ABV, I said it was 5.4. Okay. Which is a little high on the alcohol. So okay. Not crazy original about. pattern, uh, also in the Jack London area. So if you go to Oakland United, you can literally just walk over to Oakland United or to um, original pattern. They almost always have a ton of stuff canned, like a True. lot of canning True. stuff there. I want to say they probably have their own line. Yeah, they have cans. Um, so they have a ton of cans. Their their beer is their beer is good, yes. but it's typically not great. I think that you're gonna do pretty well there if you order some four packs. You're never gonna hit with a four pack that you hate. Okay. Um, you're not gonna be unhappy. We're gonna have a bunch of beer that you like, but you're not gonna be with these beers that you're just gonna rave about. Just Correct. Talk about home. Yeah. Poor dog. Also, she, whenever she can't reach a spot she wants to hit, she just starts. I will also say that actually one of my favorite parts of that original pattern is the atmosphere. I love the, the I love the building. They've got the I building the inside. It's a gorgeous building. They've Very got open. The, the the high ceilings and then with the seating areas, they've got a couple of booths that fit like eight people. Oh yeah. I mean, it was you know it, it's and then the other so they do have food there. I want to say it's like a, it's like dumplings, dumplings, and, dumplings, and, stuff. dumplings and, and that kind of stuff. You can so bring you in can, food though too, but they're. And really, I also, the staff is always nice. They're super great. It's super chill. It's a great atmosphere. I really like them. So. Uh, plus, if you go to Original Pattern, you can literally just like walk from there over to Federation and then walk over to Oakland United and then go back to your And there's a coffee there's, joint right around the corner. There's a beautiful there, coffee too. joint there. There's also a tap room that's got something like 48 taps. And, and a cider there. house. 
Yeah. Oh, there's and a then, and then there's the other open Oh, there's a new brewery opening too, a brand new one right. opening. I see. Something oh, but there's, there's, there. there's the one that the, had all the, the records. Right, the little one. Oh, the little one, Oakland. Oh, I guess Oakland Road. Yeah, it was, and it was, it was an old punk rock place. Apparently, they've got posters up. It's um, like right. punk rock bands back in the day, and the, the, the head brewer and the dude is just spinning old LPs all day. I mean, it was a, I, I loved that atmosphere. I wish the beer was well, a little bit better. Well, the beer. What we're saying is, what we're saying is, if you go to the Jack this is number two. This is number two. For this me. is a good beer. That's a good beer. It is. is. We have got a ninety for me. The original yeah, pattern. Yeah, it's back in order. There's a two, three, four. Two, three, four. Here we go. Soda number five, Modern Times. Ice. You got that one right. Ice, ice, baby. Uh, let's see, 4.8%, which makes more sense. Uh, and this beer is vegan. This beer is my number two beer. Uh, this is my number two beer. Really? Well, most beer is actually vegan. I'm not sure why they say that, because I don't know what you would put in. The, la the lactose. Other than lactose. It's not even in most beers, though. It's not really in most beers. It's not. Mm. So, you know, I get it. Mm. And then, you know. Well, like I say, beer is basically vegan. You 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 well, should get a beer that well, says it's right, not right, vegan. Basically. Yeah, basically right. And it just says ice cold beer. It's uh, not a whole lot on the can or information. We do love you the modern times. Love your glass of beer. That was very good. Seriously, you're just like yeah. it's, it's all right. Modern times. Stuff on modern times. Modern times is a brewery that started in San Diego. Uh, they make a lot of beers. Um, they do a lot of very good options. Uh, if you want to go visit them, your only option here in the Bay Area is one in Oakland. I do not know what neighborhood it's in because I'm not that familiar with Oakland, but it's in Oakland. It's um, kind of up near the hill. Still not packed right all the time, right? It's well, I wouldn't say. Well, it's I wouldn't know because fucking was, nobody can go in it right was, now. It was close to Jack London, but not in Jack London. It's pretty far from Jack. It's more near near to Berkeley than Jack London. You think so? Yeah. I, I, you know, it's really hard to tell because it's it's in a it's again it's we've kind of near Maricopa. We've Jack. been there three times yeah. and not been able to go in the same time. It's been full once or twice, I think, in COVID. It's full so. for my birthday. Your best bet there is open. Uh, if you also, if you go to San Diego, they've got um, a couple of options out in San Diego. Um, their main one is it's near the huge. airport. I believe it's kind of a giant warehouse. Um, it's really nicely appointed. They also do coffee. Those who are big coffee fans, yes. um, a lot of coffee options. They do their own coffees, which is really and nice. And coffees. They're typically known, I think, Hazies. primarily for their IPAs. No, I actually, I think Modern bit. Times is a little bit more known for the stouts, the barrel aged stuff. They do a lot of that I'm big really success. Right. Randy, right. Right. Randy loves the modern time barrel aged The big, I, you know, I think they just do a good job of diversifying. I wouldn't say it is not near Jack London. Brett wouldn't have to be. Thank you, Brett. I knew I was right. Uh, crunchy little snowflakes. Oh, Beer Revolution closed. Oh, it closed. That's heartbreaking. Oh, sorry, bro. I love that place. That we got was, there. We got there once. We get. We went there. For a, for a run, the beer for a run, the beer met, met a bunch of runners out there, and it's basically a tap house and a bottle shop. And I, it's not the surprising they closed because here. they just couldn't survive. Oh, I mean, that sucks. That sucks. That is a bummer. So that's your modern times thing. There's some other modern times. I think modern times is like three San Diego locations actually. I would agree. That's probably true. Why is they overlapping now? Because they're crunchy little snowflakes in Berkeley. Oh, crunchy liberal snowflakes. snowflakes. Yeah. Brett's a crunchy liberal snowflake. And it's not near Jack London. He said that. It's closer to Drake's dealership. It is close to Drake's. Love the Drake's dealership. I think. I've only been there the one time. Though. With us, yeah, right? Just, yeah. yeah. Uh, number six, Novel Brewing, Point of View. Again, one of our favorites. We love those guys. Uh, point of View is a German-style pilsner, which is golden in color, with a fresh bread aroma and distinctive tang. Yeah, mild, fruity, it's hot like a flavor, tree, yielding right? a pleasantly harmonic bitterness to cleanse your palate and adjust your point of view. <laughs> so, those guys are good. I love those people. 5.6% ABV. So, grade number four was OP, right? Yes, and five was Modern Times. Okay, so as it turns out, six, five is actually the beer I killed the most. Five is the beer I killed the most. We all thought it would be too light, though. So yeah. I actually predicted it was Modern Times, so I got that one right. You did. Yeah. I also graded it pretty low, but uh, it was not a war. It was too light. What was your least favorite? Well, actually, that's least favorite. Right. Most of That's, that's because low. it's right, not so a true pills. That's yeah. right, because it's the West Coast. All right, so let's talk about novel brewing. As the fine folks at Novel Brewing Post pointed out on my last beer explaining post like last week, last week, when we talked about how much we like them, uh, they are not in Berkeley. They are in Oakland. 
It's just really close to Berkeley. It's right like, on the line. It's like blocks. Yeah. It's like on the line. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they make great beer. Their entire facility is like the size of the uh, beer planning studio. Yeah. If that. <laughs> It's very small. But damn, they make good beer. And they are friendly people. You can order to go. They got growlers. They got growlers. Um, They're canning you, too. Their triple IPA is probably among the better ones I think you will find. Mm -hmm. um, look for that probably in the Feb February range. Everyone February range. In February. Mm -hmm. um, their hazies are good. Um, they've made some decent sours. They make okay stouts. I think that it's a nice stop when COVID's over. I think they're one of those small breweries that really deserve, like, I agree. stop that. Check out. Um, have a beer. So hopefully you get a chance and you enjoy um, good beer check out novel so it's in open but it's like really more like close to perfect and their flights are in books oh their flights are in books yes, the whole we, thing is book themes we love this is everything. probably called something after a book uh, point of view yeah never mind i'm not gonna go with a book oh yeah point of view is a book thing as in like first person third person it's fine it's, it's fair it is what it is by that but i like a and number seven and i believe the undisputed winner today undisputed. it was my winner fairy model madhouse German style pills. It's our favorite San Francisco brand. This beer almost okay, didn't make the list. And I'm just going to tell you right now. It's not really a pills beer. Oh, Sorry, guys. Really? It's actually an IPA. No, no, uh, no. <laughs> no. If you want to make a five gallon batch of this beer, is the recipe on it? They always have. The so Bear Bottle wow. always has their recipes on their cans. That's, I would just say that that's impressive to tell you exactly what to do, what temperatures you need yep. to hit, let's, let's just what your make this. Let's just make this. I let's totally make agree with that. Make it. I'm down with that. Even you should make it, and then we can oh real one, too. Yeah, make exactly. one of their IPAs. Don't idea. make their Pilsner. Wow. Some people. <laughs> you're going to drink the good. IPA before you're going to drink the Pilsner. I can't see it's anything true, else. It's true. It's true. You guys like IPAs. It doesn't say what the ABV is. It's got to be a mention. It's like somewhere, I'm sure. All right, so let's talk about Bear Bottle. Yeah. Bear Bottle is a San Francisco 4. brewery. 4.7. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, they are a San Francisco brewery. Their facility is relatively nice. Uh, it's in a shady neighborhood, though, so don't, don't leave valuables anything. in your car. And they will tell you that when you go up. We no, no, the security guard tells you that. If you walk into security guard and your stamp, he says, where did you park? Did you leave any valuables out? And we you, say cannot, you cannot walk down any part of the street and not see broken glass Everywhere. on the sidewalk. Yeah. It is that and cheap. That's and that's true. We've been there a bunch of times. It's actually one of the stops. That and local are probably the two stops we've made the most often in San Francisco. Yes. And um, <laughs> it's true. They tell you that. It's hilarious. Wow. Dude, oh, they got a cool spot, though. They got a whole lot of video arcade going on. So if you have a kid, yep. you give your kid like five bucks and quarters. They'll play some pinball, some street yep. fighters, some whatevs um, while you have your beers. Uh, they've always got a food truck outside, including the food truck that was there last time, which honestly was among the better food trucks we've ever had. Like Want to chase down, but we fucking forgot it was Gaelic. I know what's called so, yeah, it's so very good. good. The good news is we have a show, I think, where we're They make the beer. Um, so, they're, so, the can too. so what needs to about Bear Bottle here is that um, a lot of these spots, I can tell you which beer I think they make the best. Uh, bear Bottle is not a beer I can do that for because um, we just have their pills in a way that the best beer, we just rated the best pills here. Um, they make really good hazy IPAs. Um, their triple IPA won our blind IPA testing two years ago. Yep. Their sours um, their are Their kettle sours are great. Um, I can't say a lot about their stats, honestly. We haven't. Really we had a couple, but not a lot. Ton. Um, I've never really brought home a bunch. I've done flights of them, but I've never brought home a bunch of them. This is a great spot. If you're in the city, it's not in the downtown marketing area or over by the water at all. It's kind of you just, can actually drive to it. It's kind of like a weird little spot, but usually you can find parking. Um, you know, we haven't broken into yet. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it's it's a good spot, though. It's, it's worth going. They're good people. They get good beer. It is a great location. They are very friendly. They will card you, so bring your ID. Yes, they don't let you in with that ID and the little hand stuff. It's much more like trying to get into a nightclub. Although they'll let the kids in, so you know they just want to check your ID. But it's you know, and and, and we've had a couple of different food trucks there. All have been very yeah, good. This one, yeah, we had some like Korean fries, fries or yeah. something. Oh yeah, I remember those fries. Yeah. Those were good. Uh, so that's the bear bottle story. So um, we should probably wrap us up here, I suppose. Uh, Nate, what are your overall thoughts here? What did you think of the beer? Did you enjoy doing the tasting? If you've done something like this before? I've never done anything like this before. Like I said, my, my go-to is MGDs. So, MGDs uh, fine. I used to think 40 is all the time. You know, I like 805, too. 805 is good. That's a blonde. That's a blonde ale. It's actually a, it's honestly a classic blonde ale. The reality is anyone who tells you 805 is shit. That's um, probably what really just got most people started. started. That's right. Because Firestone is a stone-cold craft brewery that made a blonde ale that just okay. caught on. That's well, in 805... Led most people into craft beer. That's just true. Yeah. 
805 is almost like a gateway drug into like these weird crafty IPAs and shit, right? 805 is very much a a, a way to get into craft beer it is. that is not the snobbish, you know, oh, I need to have the super juicy, super hobby, you know, double, triple, quad IPAs. It's a good craft beer that knows what it wants to do. It's very flavorful, but it's not overpowered. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really, really it's good beer. It's a wine. very it's drinkable very beer. Wine. Very drinkable very good beer. Wine. Um, so yeah, no, 805 is a great option. Uh, so compared really to those good. two, this is definitely hands down, highly recommended. Number seven. I'm gonna be honest with you, I cannot send you home with one of those as a party gift. I bought literally <laughs> one of them at Total Wine last weekend. Um, they had a bunch though. So if you go to Total Wine and Pleasant, if you drive by in the cooler, you can pick up a four pack of this. So walking I'm saying they were five, four or five dollars each, honestly. They weren't that expensive. Wow. Um, the walking cooler though, where they do the beer at Total Wine and Pleasant, and definitely had these last week where I picked okay. one up. It was, it was, this was the last addition to, to today's um, lineup, just because we know we like Bear Ball a lot. I think doing a blind taste test if I walk by like a bear bottle and think, oh, I can include a bear bottle in my blind taste test. I just want to, you know. Uh, so. Anything else before I get it eaten? Mm, no, I think that's probably I think it's probably a red. So um so once again, thanks for joining us, Nate. Thank you for having you me. Time. Running, uh, hopefully you don't feel too drunk or anything like that. It's reasonably well, slow pace. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna wrap up today's show unless anyone has any questions real quick. Uh, Brett, do you have any more questions no, you'd like to ask? He like, was letting you know there's a car car wash across the street, street from, Bear, from Bottle. Bear Bottle. They also have fish tacos. There's a car wash across the street from Bear Bottle? I, 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 was... I have never seen a no, car wash. No, no, there's, not, no there's, there's not. not. There's, not. Okay. there's housing in big hills that if no, you, you have to be very careful to park on. I think he means like... Oh, like down the street, maybe. The not like across the like, street. Like over the other freeway. Over, over, over the other And I can't read the Under the under Walking past the homeless again. That's literally every corner in San Francisco and Berkeley at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. We hope you had fun. We enjoyed our beer. Next week we're doing. I don't know. We're doing Is it the Wheel week. of Fun next week? No, I thought it was barely next week. Because that's Randy. So here's the problem. Next weekend we're going to be in oh, oh, Arnold. Right. We're no. going to be in Arnold. Yeah. We will be in. Yeah. So we have to make it back on by Sunday. Tomorrow, otherwise, well, we're going to go home on Sunday. Oh, okay. Well, we could stay through your tea. Yeah. I wonder if. Um, I wonder if. Um, Snowshoes are open. Oh, they don't have enough beers, though, so we'd have to bring some extra beers. We just do a snowshoe tasting. But I mean, yeah. yeah. We'll so next weekend. Well, it's we're, right two weeks for We're going to figure out next weekend. Uh, it might be an on location at Snowshoe. It might be an on location at the cabin we're going to next weekend because everyone's got to get out at some point. Oh, fuck yeah. It's hard to say. Two weeks. Uh, the 20th, I want to say. I think that was with uh, the It's going to be a, our second guest star. We're going to um, Ram Dog Run is going to join Hopefully. us. Uh, we're gonna do barrel aged stouts. That's gonna be your jam. We got about six of them. <laughs> um, they're gonna be heavy, and we're gonna be faded. <laughs> Even with the three of us, because they all ten. Yeah, you guys have. <laughs> imagine doing this. Imagine doing this with all of them being ten percent. Right. No, nothing no under. Way. Nothing under ten percent. I'd probably out. make it to about uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be our second guest show. Uh, and then after that, I believe we've got a few other things we're trying to. We're coming up with some Oktoberfest. The Wheel of Fun. Uh, Oktoberfest. The, the Wheel of Fun. fun. Uh, and then we'll see kind of where it goes from there as far as what opens up. I'm kind of hoping we can somehow acquire four or five pumpkin beers so we can just rate everything a 60 for a day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll see. Uh, we we'll see if you're watching the show from, like, not the Bay Area and you want to do a beer trade with us, just let us know. We'd love so to trade you beer. Absolutely. Uh, we will send you Bay Area beer. You send us beer from wherever you are. Yeah, we'd love to do a We'll do a whole show. We did the Chicago show. It's fun. I'm about to do Tennessee, so I'm plus, excited. Tennessee would be plus, good. plus, my wife would love to try to figure out whichever regional cuisine it is that you're supposed to make in that area. So yes. here in New Mexico, apparently she'll make some tacos. Is that the regional cuisine in New Mexico? Enchiladas, yeah. tacos, Enchiladas. burritos. Right? You know, if you're in Canada, maybe she'll make some poutine. I don't fucking know. I saw a good recipe for poutine the other day. I'm not trying to make poutine. Okay. She's totally gonna make me cheese for the Canada Trader. No, nah, because you gotta make the gravy, you gotta make the cheese curds, the We got a Canada Trader though, I'm gonna say A, you know, like every cent's gonna be Canada This is good beer, eh? It's like, like damn, eh? This beer's having a good beer. We have to get the snow one so we can do the great white dark. We have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was entirely too much rambling for so I'm sorry, you guys. Sorry. We're Thank you for about. joining us. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Nate, do you want to say anything? Do you wish, wish anyone would well? Do you want to tell your wife you love her or anything? Oh, I love you. Yeah, Jen, it's good to see you. Hopefully you're so, watching. But, uh, he's okay to drive for free, sure. Uh, yeah, if not, I'll, I'll drive him home. Drive home, that's for sure. <laughs>
We got tons of vacant lots. Too. Brett Sorry. would <laughs> like you to start doing it in a format where others can join by video. So kind Brett, of like if you've got some suggestions, yeah. Brett, we'd love it. We'd love to do that, Brett. If we could just record it, we would love to do it. Record it, broadcast live. We're totally fine. We tried it once with um, like Instagram, but you kind of have to do portrait mode and um, like portrait mode videos should yeah, yeah, be yeah. banned. Um, so if that didn't work out, we don't have enough subscribers to do a YouTube live. We tried it with Facebook live, it didn't work. So just shoot, shoot me an email, Brett. And we will work we it will, out. We would, love, we would to love to have you on our virtual case. And yeah. by the way, Brett says he is Canadian, and this isn't cool. Which part's not cool? <laughs> right. Totally cool. Yeah, you just, to say, you're just racist towards Canadians. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I did it. Is it because I said that? Yeah, no, and then I did the coo coo coo. Yeah, no. Oh, my coo 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 went a little far. Everyone's okay with that. Do you guys not know the Great White North from Second City TV back in the day? Did you never watch the, the movie uh, uh, Strange Brew? <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now I'm deeply wounded. I'm more Is there wounded. any beer left in something? There's splashes. There you go. All right. Well, anyway, cheers. Thanks Happy Labor Day, Day weekend, all you laborers. Thank you all for joining us. We'll see you guys next week.